My top tip for dealing with the cold water um, when you're doing an open water swim is to make sure about five or ten minutes before your swim you get in the water and you fully immerse yourself in the water because that first feeling of the coldness will take your breath away and expect that it will take your breath away but what you've done after that you've got in you've maybe done your little bit of a warm-up and then you get out and that point when you get out so when you get back in again your body temperature will start to regulate itself and that's when your wetsuit will really start to work it will keep the warm water inside and it'll keep the cold water outside and usually when you get back in to start your race you don't feel the cold water anymore so I would certainly recommend that you get in first just to get that initial shock out of your system and then when you get in a second time it shouldn't even be something that's on your mind. Uh, my top tip for the different types of open water swimming, there's rivers, there's lakes and there's seas. Um, the sea swims I generally find the hardest because the conditions are so varied. Um, if there's a current, if there isn't a current, if there's sea life, if there isn't sea life. Um, the weather can also play quite a lot of havoc on that and generally because of the saltiness of the water you'll probably find it quite difficult sort of in your mouth and on your skin and things. But the great thing about sea swimming is that you're more buoyant in the water so it lifts you right up so you generally when you're swimming in the sea you're swimming much faster than you would if you're swimming in a lake um, but if you're swimming in a lake uh, your mouth and things you're not too worried about the saltiness of the water um, and you can kind of just generally get on with, with how you're swimming um, lakes and rivers um, depend on the currents really it depends how the water's coming into the lake and how it's leaving Generally, you should be able to feel um, a current and you should be able to see the current as well. If you're um, swimming and you feel like you're being pushed to the left, just make a conscious effort to try and swim to the right. But somebody should generally tell you um, before you get in if there's a current and how fast it's going and all that kind of stuff. But it shouldn't be something for you to worry about at all. 